How's it going? Welcome back to the Ring of Pain. I'm the absolute worst, and we are here after downloading the specialist update. Um, I've already done a couple runs on Single Candle, and it is a ton of fun. There's been some massive changes to um, some of the items uh, as far as what's available, and to the uh, way that our stat boosts work. You can see it right there. Um, I'll explain it in-game. Uh, but the new items that have dropped are very, very interesting, and the new achievements are fun to go for. So, let's hop right into it. Alright. We are back at it again. Amber. I don't mind Amber. I kind of want something better. Uh, we'll take it, though. Okay, so here's our new stat increase. Um, basically, it gives us three options. In this case, we're going to go with a little speed. Give us some attack. Nope, attack. There we are. Axe is an awesome early item. Speed mixed with attack is just perfect for these early dungeons. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We got a scrounger on the right, a couple fire beads on the left. I'd like to take this guy out. Ooh. Give me your potion, please. Thank you very much, sir. We'll take a little damage from that poison there, but that is all right. Let's increase our attack here. Ooh, early blue item. Ranged creatures won't attack you. Don't have to ask me twice. Absolutely. Ranged creatures are uh, quite the annoyance in this. Um, it seems like there are an abundance of them, I guess, is how I would describe it. <laughs> I've been running into a lot, so uh, anything that gives us some defense against them is definitely, definitely something we want to pick up. So this is the other type of upgrade. Uh, I'm not going to pick it up now, but I will describe it. So uh, the large golden arrow with the uh, smaller orange one below it indicates that this item will give us four uh, points in one of our primary stats here. However, it's going to take one point away from the rest. Um, so, this is a very uh, potent stat increase. However, as far as I've noticed in some of my gameplay, um, it kind of sets you up, especially in the early game, to drain yourself quite evenly without really feeling the ramifications until later, I think is how I want to put it. Basically, to describe what I'm saying, um, I had picked that... I, I had started picking up these scrolls just, um, you know, one after another right off the rip when I first saw them, because I'm like, all right, well, it's a stat increase. We get plus four now, awesome. Uh, but what I wasn't really realizing was that... Um, the minus one to all of their stats, it definitely takes a toll on uh, on your build. Because you figure, if I get four attack, I'm losing four points in all other places. So it's really it's it's really to um, cash in on something that you're building way too much of, as opposed to a gimme. And you have to treat it that way, or else you can ruin a build very quickly. Halberd, we're gonna keep over act or. We're gonna pass up for Axe. So Axe is uh, is still very strong for us now with that speed. We will heal up and enter the next dungeon. All right. A couple of fire beads. We will take this stone skin. Could have played that a little better, but not a big deal right now. This loot scrounger is coming in for the door. Fantastic. We will take that upgrade there. Um, I do like having double-digit attack already. We really need defense. We'll get defense through some items. Ooh, generalist. Generalist is nice, but we do not need it right now. We need a freeze item. Minus defense. That's not what we want. All right, we'll take ferocity. 
Ferocity is pretty good. What else? What else do we got here? A dog, and we don't need to attack you. Or can we? We got two potions. Three potions. Good to go. We will attempt this since we have some extra potions. Perfect. Uh, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna upgrade our defense. I thought we were gonna throw a point in the um, clarity, but not yet. Clarity has also been adjusted slightly, not directly, but through its items. Um, so in the past, we've just built double, let's say double, double your clarity. So with our skirt of clarity and our, um, or our skirt of visions and our uh, crown of vision, you could build high clarity very, very easily. Um, and some of those items have been changed, so it's not so easy, which is actually good. I'm glad they adjusted it because clarity was very, very strong. And it still is. It's just uh, you got to be a little bit more smart about your decisions now, which I think is perfect. Making us think. No more gimmies. Because I will say, uh, single candle up until now has felt eh, sort of boring. Just because the enemies felt really, really weak. And they were really, really weak especially in comparison to the items that you got. So, so perfect example. Okay, so Crown of Clarity doubles your clarity. It gives negative eight clarity. So the way this item works is that you um, double doubles your clarity, is doubling your clarity from items, um, not from like your, your actual stats. So this is gonna give me negative 15 clarity, right? Um, so basically, how this item works is you want to get this item when you already have a fair amount of clarity. So to attempt a clarity build now, you want to build clarity throughout other items, you want to get a skirt of visions, and then you want to get a crown of clarity. Uh, that should ensure that you're over negative clarity by the time you get this. Um, and it'll help you build it later on, because building out of negative clarity is basically like throwing a run. Uh, negative eight clarity, I think, gives you a zero heal on potions. Um, I know that was a lot of information, but you will hopefully see in the near future how that works. Okay, neuron sight. I like that. How much is it? Thirty. We're really close to a purple chest, but neuron sight is really, really good. I think we're gonna grab that. Very nice. We can see our loot scrounger over there. Take out this rat hound. Um, he's going to that door. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Defense or clarity is really the question. Eight clarity this early is really nice. We're gonna build into the clarity. We've got a fire bead here that we can take care of. Uh, this is our third type of um, stat increase. So shown as a large gold arrow, one gray arrow, and two orange arrows pointing down. This will give us plus four in a stat while taking away from two others. So this I don't mind grabbing because it gives me a little bit of, of, of a decision as to what I can sacrifice as opposed to just draining me completely. Uh, I'm sorry, plus three. Um, so let's see here. We have minus attack and defense. We don't really want to do that and we don't need the HP right now. So that one's out of the, out of the question. Up the defense and subtract the health and the attack or up the attack and minus the health and the defense. I think right now increasing our attack is probably the best move because we are we are so far ahead that it'll kind of carry our power curve um, until we can build into some other items here. All right, what do we got? Um, we attack first, so obviously we take him out. Okay, I think we pinched. Yep. So 
so we're gonna negate all this damage. Perfect. I'm gonna take this guy out, because why not? Get some vengeance for all those times that he doesn't allow, it, uh, allow us to attack him. We're gonna try for some of these, because we have a plus nine heal here. Awesome. Uh, we'll grab a defense, and now since we succeeded that one, we can grab the other. That hurt, so we'll heal. Perfect. We're gonna save our all of our souls there for potential chests down the line here. We got a nice, a nice build up, a nice, uh, kind of a nice platform to work with. We're behind this drifter, so we'll just keep working our way towards him. Oh. Okay, that fire bead wants to explode. And this fire bead is going to want to explode. We'll just keep chasing him down for now. He's going to kill that uh, bile bag there, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. We'll grab this purple item. We've got another quiet room. We lost our music. Okay. Speed and defense for a little bit of survivability and attack. Hmm. We're getting a plus four on our heal from potion right now, so we don't really need this two anymore. Then again, well, we can't re-roll. Hmm. We'll take it. We'll take it. When I hate, I hate uh, totally getting rid of an item when I have so many open or replacing an item when I have so many open slots. But it is what it is right now. So now the question is, can we actually take on this drifter? Um, we don't have a way of getting him next to us without... We could attack once. That's fine. Okay, so 13 damage. We will absolutely take him out. It's worth the 8 souls. We only took, what, 3 from him? Shrine to sacrifice or a careful maneuver. We'll take a careful maneuver. We have our dummy there. Uh, so this is one of our new spells here, create a dummy, uh, to which we can attack. Uh, this is great for, you know, it's basically a cushion card in our pocket. Um, but, uh, so, like, if we get pinched, you know, with a fire hive, we can attempt to get out of that not-so-great situation. All right. Uh, attacking him would have been a good idea if he would blow the other one up there. So what we're going to do is move over, push him out of the way, um, I'm, I'm thinking this through because I'm trying to get to this grounder. I think we're going to sacrifice some health here because he's going to want to explode, so I'm going to be forced to take some from this fire hive. So we move again. Oh, he's not going to kill the fire hive. Right. Perfect. And now we get on the other side of the scrounger. And there's all our cushion. Alright. Take out this uh, large roaming fire bead. And we are out of enemies that can move, so we are free to do as we please. We'll take another defense. A free item, of course. Of course, of course. We're going to go for this Chrysalis Heart. We don't need the speed anymore. We've got a ton of speed. Uh, we're going to pass this up for now. Still am not crazy about grabbing one of those at the moment. Um... Do we need, we don't need that potion, right? So it doesn't really, there's no point. Oh, you know what? Awesome, we did get it. 20 attack and we're only on what round? We're on floor seven. We're doing pretty good right now. We are doing pretty well. All right, couple of poison fire beads here. We got a loom bird that's gonna be coming in on the left side and we got a, a bile bat back there that we gotta get ready to take care of. So. We're going to use these poison beads to help us take out this Whisperer. Why, thank you, sir. And why don't you help us with our Loom Bird situation as well. Bye-bye. 
And these last three enemies, I say three, really it's, I guess, four. Um, we use the splits to give us not enough souls for this purple chest. Sad. Oh well. We will have one shortly. Perfect. Intimidate, uh, intimidate creature on attack, 40% there. We got a 60% chance to um, intimidate on pass. Got a little intimidate build going. We'll take out this drifter. Um, we will move past this fire bee to let him detonate. The poison bee is stuck there behind the shrieker. Uh, I'm sorry, it's shackles. And we're gonna leave him there for now. Uh, he's gonna come back towards us anyways, right? Might as well just, might as well just get him out of the way. Okay. Um, we don't need either of these blue chests currently. I do not want that. Uh, we're just gonna use this uh, this bear trap on this, um, just for the souls. Bronze leaf. Uh, I don't want to give up the attack. Why would I? That's no fun. We want as much of attack as we can get. A uh, double companions? That's a little odd, huh? We have also been given a spell that turns an enemy into a frog, which is fantastic. I love it. Get rid of that scrounger. We got another one over here. We got to race him to the store. Come here, scrounger. Give us your items. Ooh, that was awesome. We got a we got what one two three four stat increases in this room alone. Goodbye. One more. Awesome. And now the only other enemies in here. Do we have some? Yeah, we got plenty of heals. We can go ahead and attack that and take out this spine back. All right. What do we got here? Plus two, so even more. Let's put it in. Put that one in HP. Grab this item. Uh, inflict freeze on parry or intimidate creature on attack. Hmm. Um, we're going to grab a glacier for now. Because that puts us at some really solid defense. And uh, that could really that could really come in handy in the future here. We'll supplement some of our speed that we sacrificed. Take another HP. Um, we'll definitely take a clarity. And how about another purple chest? Um... I don't really want to give up the attack. Uh, what, what, what do we What do we need right now? Uh, we could, purple jars aren't really a thing. That would be our purple boots. We could get a purple chest plate, right? We could get a fur coat, but that would take away from our clarity, so we don't really want that. We could get a uh, We could get a um, the health leech helmet. Yep, the living helmet. That's not bad. Gives us a little more clarity. We do give up the attack, but the effect on this is very, very good. So we're going to go with that. And that's it for us. We're going to hang on to our um, our explosive here. We've got a scrounger in the back going for this door. So we're definitely going to be able to catch him. We will detonate both those enemies with this fire hive. Um, we're not going to be able to kill the, uh, Bane, Bane Fang. I thought it was Bane Fang, but it, it didn't sound right in my head. Okay, we'll take out the Scrounger, collect his stat increases. What do we got? I want more attack. We'll take an HP. And then we'll take, ooh, Clarity. I'm preparing for our. I'm preparing for our skirt of vision. What do we 
got 61% chance. We also have a potion in here. Awesome. Take some attack on that. Um, and then we're going to use our explosive on this shackles here so that we get the uh, souls from both of those enemies so we can get this purple chest. Scrolls don't get uh, destroyed after use, of course. That is just a great item to have in a, in a slot that we weren't using, so I actually take that back. We can get a purple scroll that's worth now. Do we have anything uh, that we would want to sacrifice? I mean, to lose one in HP, because I would, I would most likely use it on clarity, right? So do you lose one, one in everything else? Give us a clarity. Yes. Okay. I can accept that. What do we got? 65% chance to uh, pass on a cursed item. That's not bad. Bio bag. Easy kill. Leaking bio bag. Just as easy. Um, no thanks. We'll pick this up for sure. Oh, now it's plus four. Okay. Um, what can we sacrifice? I'm thinking we want speed. Wish it was clarity. Maybe we want the HP? HP would actually be kind of nice right now. I don't think we're going to be able to earn that gold chest. Definitely going to take this out. He took our uh, camouflage, which wasn't really a big deal. That wasn't doing us any good in that fight. Perfect. We got another explosive. So we're going to use that... Whoa! I thought we had an explosive in our back pocket there, but that is all right, because that will give us the opportunity to um, go to a crossroads, which we likely would have done anyways. We can't attack him. We don't have... We could freeze on a parry if we don't keep intimidating. <laughs> Four times in a row. I mean, I know it's 60%, but that's still pretty good. And a stealth. There it is. We could do the same to you, but we might as well just attack, right? Now, on a 40% chance to block, we didn't get one. Okay. We get nine out of this. We'll just heal up, make our way out. We can take this purple chest. Uh, no thanks. Hmm. At this point, Crown of Clarity is still okay. Do we take it now? Let's hope that wasn't a mistake. So now anytime we pick up Clarity in any of our items, it's going to be doubled. Overwhelm and Volatile. We'll go with the Overwhelm. We gave up all of our clarity, but we should be able to make that back, especially if we get a Skirt of Vision. Very, very easily. Let's hope I'm not the big dumb. Camouflage is allowing us to use these cushion cards without being scared of this bio bag. And they can't do anything to us anyways because we one-shot them. The Intimidate is just blessing us up right there. Easy kills. Love murdering. Little slime viscids. Leaking bag. No problem. Even this Whisper taking six damage. We are just slicing through these guys right now. Purple item. What do we got? Juggernaut? Sure. We need a little speed, though. Give us some clarity. Ooh. Um. 
So as you can see there, if we picked up that summon row, we would get four clarity. Lose five defense though, and we're getting more defense on the on the pierce resistance here. After using a scroll or spell, gain plus ten defense for one turn. So that's only gonna happen as often as we can activate a spell, which later on in the game could be very good, but right now it's not really doing us anything. And we don't have anything in that slot, so might as well. Out we go. Okay, we got a uh, loom bird and it looks like some sort of bead back here. Uh, looks like a large roving fire bead, judging by his health. We also got a massive loom bird on the left side, so we'll go for him first. Not a shot. He's also taken care of. We got plenty of room. Let's deal with that fire bead. Take out that skulker. Now we are pretty much in the clear. Uh, we will attack you. Love to see the parries. All right. Well, not your, not your bro there. We don't, we don't need to mess with that. Still can't really utilize our clarity yet. We're gonna freeze you first. Save a little HP there. All right. There you go, spine back. All right, and we have a careful maneuver. We could grab one of these purple chests, but I think we are going to continue right on through because I want to get a couple legendaries. We don't have any legendary items right now. Look at that. Your next attack after dodging is a guaranteed crit, so that's good if you're building a lot of speed, um, which we are not. Turbulence, however gives us a lot of clarity. 16 clarity just on that item. And this will be doubled again if we get a Skirt of Visions because it's all based off of what's on your items. We lose a ton of speed and a little bit of defense and a little bit of health. We're going to take it. We are putting our trust in the clarity. We pinched ourselves here, but we have the opportunity to put our dummy down. And we saved our dummy, which is very cool. Take care of that bead as well. This bead's just gonna detonate himself because he's a dumb dumb. All right. Uh, give us more speed. We don't wanna be taking the first hit forever here, even though we're probably going to. Uh, I don't care about this fire hive. Uh, now we can take these with somewhat confidence at 72%. Awesome. Easy kill there. Uh, we have one potion back there. Oh, all right. Well, we could just do that. Ooh, Soul Claw. After spell use, deal five damage to front cards. That could be really good, and it could also bite us in the butt if we have an explosive enemy in front of us. Again, we are abandoning all speed. However, because of the clarity, we are going to pick that up. We are now at 80% chance to resist curse. Oh, health and HP for more curse, or clarity? I think so. I think so. Clarity is that good. Um, what else do we need here? Nothing really, right? We'll hang on to our dummy for now, I think. That's a nice back pocket item. Actually, you know what? If that healed for 26, the other one's got to heal for 8, right? And we didn't even have to use it. Okay. We're going to attack this Skulker to waste a turn with this Fire Bead. Attack him again. He's going to poison the other Fire, or, uh, Poison Bead to poison the Fire Bead. We can take this gold item, which is a lot of fun. He should be ready to explode soon, and then this Malgum will have nothing to eat. So we can... Whoa! Cannot take him out. Freeze you. Holy cow. What is with that? What did you eat? Man, you got some stats. 
I was not expecting that. Uh, pole arm would normally be pretty good to pick up here, but I want to keep this uh, this clarity going. Because right now we're almost at 40 clarity. At 50 clarity, you are 100% curse resistant. So we're going to reroll this. Give us a skirt of visions. Uh, we'll take Soul Hourglass over Trinket Memoir. Soul Hourglass is still incredible in its entirety. Oh, I took out that amalgam for us, as you can see. Uh, we want to parry him, but we do not have a way to heal, so I don't think we even care. Um, we don't really want this. Prepare you, it's fine. I don't think I really need any more purple items. I need some gold items. So, I think at this point, we're just going to make our way out. What do you got for us? Thunderstep? It's a pretty easy pickup, right? Yep. I do know as well there has been another item added into the game that pairs with Thunderstep amazingly. So I'm very excited to use that. This Amalgam shouldn't be able to do anything. Nope. And I am really hoping this is not the door that that loot scrounger is looking to get out of. No, it is not. But that was really weird. It, it looked like the fire hive still did the explosive damage to that scrounger. Unless that was a change, that has never been that way before. Uh, we can absolutely take this soul upgrade now, or this cursed upgrade. Uh, we're gonna slap down on some attack. All right, nope, That's enough of that. I don't really think we need this dummy anymore. We are just tearing through these guys. Um, we'll take a little health, a little defense. Alright, now we got a reprieve, which we could go in there and attempt to take out the bird once. Or we go into Wishful and get two attack. Open this back up. Well, keep our attack, rather, and open this slot. We know we're going to replace this later. But... I think we're going to do some damage to the owl. So we got one potion in here. What we're going to do is drop some damage on him. So now he's all upset. We're going to attack him. Freeze him. Attack him. And attack him once more. Nice. Uh, we will take an attack, please. At this point, we've completely abandoned speed. Speed does not matter. We can be as slow as we want. As long as we can hit like a truck, which we still can. Very nice. Uh, if we go this way, we're going to get pinched and pretty much die. We're not going to die, but it'll feel like it. Well, no, it doesn't matter. Our thunder step is uh, cleaning up for us pretty nicely. Uh, definitely not going to trade it out for Freezing Aura. We're just going to... just going to uh, grab something else here. Channeling Kilt, uh, that's kind of nice. But, we know we're going to have to get rid of this anyways for a, um, a Skirt of Visions at some point if we get that. So, I'd rather keep the Versatile and take this Dark Pact for its clarity. And where's that loot scrounger going? He's going right here, so we don't even have to worry about chasing him down. Nope. Not gonna steal. Oh, he stole our souls. Because of our devolve. We'll just freeze him, because that'll do damage. Um, we still don't need to worry about our friend over here getting to the door. We'll take that upgrade. Sure. We'll take the plus two attack. 
take another plus one health. And a plus one into defense. Do we... Can we kill? I wonder if it's possible to kill the owl before even entering his room. Because we're definitely going to mess him up again. We are going to mess you up, Mr. Owl. Because we have a 94% chance to... Oh. oh, you can't face him again. I see. All right. We'll take defense on that. If it was a plus two, I would have put it into clarity, but it wasn't. Gonna definitely take out that uh, fire breed. No reason to let him spawn a whole bunch of nasty, splody boys on us. Oh, he got devolved. Cool. We took some extra poison damage for that, so that wasn't the best, but really doesn't matter. Give us a skirt of visions. Ooh, battering shield. What is this? Excess killing damage becomes splash damage. That is really, really cool. I did not know about this item, and I am very excited. That is freaking sweet. I really want this clarity, but we have to try this item. Excess killing damage becomes splash damage. So excess killing damage. So you mix this with the void portal. I mean, this void portal and even the purple stone that gives, uh, what is it, two plus two soul damage on attack. I mean, <clears throat> that could be another and a soul hourglass. You could, this is going to be another room clearing build. I don't think we need the excess... Um, defense anymore. I think we're sitting fine at 21. And this is just, look at that red. That reminds me of, for uh, any viewers that played RuneScape, that reminds me of the anti-dragon anti fire shield, the original. I know the colors don't match up, but just the aesthetic of it. Oh, like I said, with the void portal. We actually don't want that right now. We want to keep our crown of clarity. Um... 23% chance. Your next attack after dodging is guaranteed crit. This is really cool. This is kind of like a this is like a rogue item. We could have like a rogue type build. It build into a lot of speed, a lot of dodge chance, grab a betrayal, we're critting. You, you dodge past them and crit. It's kind of fun. Um, I want a skirt of vision. Give me a skirt of vision. Oh, you suck. I will definitely take this though. Plus 16 attack. Plus, I don't even know how many clarity. I didn't even pay attention, but I know it was a lot. I think we're just going to attack through this. Look at that, 41 damage. We'll take a hit, but I don't even think it matters. Actually, you know what? We'll freeze him. Oh. Oh, well. Heal it up. Plus one defense. Bane Fang. Get him out of here. Take care of that leak and bile bag. Ugh. Oh, okay. So I wonder. Does there reflect? What, oh, now, reflects damage. So does he only reflect six? I thought it was just the damage you do he reflects. I think it is the damage you do he reflects, so I wonder if it just doesn't show it until you actually attack him, but that wouldn't make any sense either. I don't know. Do we get more clarity? Probably not. A little bit of defense. Minus one clarity, minus one speed. Yeah. You know, two on kill, we don't need that. Explosive? Nah, we'll keep the upgrade. We got a lot of uh, souls coming in now. Volatile, we'll take it. Give us some more gold items. Yes, we got one over there. Uh, we'll let these fire beads explode. Uh, we'll go back the other way now. Ah, I pinched myself. I'm so good at doing that. It's crazy. How much is this going to heal us for? 50? Yeah.
Wow, we even kill these guys one hit now. Oh, we are just destroying everyone. Okay, so we get either some defense or health, because I don't care about speed. I think we're going to go for health. Yeah. Yep. And what do you got for us? Give us... Ooh, immovable objects is actually kind of tempting. Look at all that clarity. We'd be so slow. <laughs> so slow. I really want my uh, skirt of visions. Do we take this in preparation for it? To give us another... Skirt of visions is going to give us so many points into our clarity if we get it. Come on, give us the skirt of visions. We might take the uh, we might uh, we might take the light route this time. Oh, we can't because we hurt the. Dang it! We hurt the owl. All right, listen. I understand where you're coming from. We just gotta stop. Look at the splash! Oh my gosh, the excess killing damage becoming splash. We do 44, so we do 8 plus. <laughs> this, this item is insanity. That is so good. These two mixed together is nuts. And just the raw power. Oh my goodness. And the max clarity. Give us the crit. Holy cow. There's just no shot for any of these monsters right now. Explosive? Nah. I have a feeling we're gonna blow through this owl and not. He's not even. He's just not gonna stand a chance at all. I really want to skirt a vision just to see what we can get our clarity up to. Ah, uh, he didn't give us a gold item. Lame. You are lame, sir. He's just going to take so much damage right now. Oh. It's common. If we had to suffocate, he would... If we had to suffocate, we might have one-cleared this room. One, one click cleared this room. Um, is that worth... No, I don't think, so we're going to freeze him up. Uh, no thanks. I don't even know how I damaged him. So he's already half health. Okay. Well, don't want that. Keep your light beams to yourself. We're going to hurt ourselves if we attack the Skulker like this because of this Fire Hive. So we're going to move back. Alright, we'll move to the left here. <clears throat> and... Ba -ba -ba, let's see, maybe take a potion. Uh, or we aggress this Loom Bird. Okay, so he's going to take 15 damage from just sitting in there. Now he's going to die. Um, we're going to go to the left. Ow. You, sir, hurt a lot. Okay, we dodged his second attack, which was actually really, really big. We need to get away from him. Our speed is causing us some issues. We're going to just run for now. And we're going to kill... Ooh. Okay, um... Can we kill the Loom Bird this way? I believe so, right? 
We're gonna damage ourselves. But we get this potion. Give us the potion. Yes. All right, crisis averted. I mean, there's just this is kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Owl, that is it for you. That is it for you. So, had the opportunity to showcase some new items there. Um, there's going to be some really crazy splash damage builds coming, I can just tell you right now. First, we'll get our music going. Uh, yes. But uh, that shield, that battering shield, plus... Um, one of the new hammers that were just introduced to the game are going to make for, I mean, we were hitting, what, 40s, 49s, almost 50 damage there with Splash. We're going to be pushing that up to probably 60, 70. I'd like to see if we can even hit 100 uh, with Splash damage. I, I'm, I, think, I think it's possible. Um, thank you so much for coming back and watching the videos. Um, if you do... Uh, appreciate the content please leave a like comment um, and subscribe uh, it really helps a lot um, like I said I really have no intentions of stopping any of this um, content so please let me know what you think I really want to do my best to improve the channel and uh, you know I'm new to this whole thing so any com or uh, any feedback that you guys have is what I need until next time thanks for watching